Hello everyone and welcome to F1 2021. I'm going to be trying to create a kind of short little season here uh, heading into the release of F1 2022. I wanted to try and do a realism mode. I've, I've been slowly getting away from using the line when I do my actual races. I'm in cockpit cam, so I've, I've tweaked a couple settings. And if you want, I can go over the settings in the actual menu here, uh, in terms of assists, we're running absolutely nothing. Uh, weather time of day, stuff like that. It's all pretty standard. We're running on 95 AI as I'm still kind of a little bit slow. Um, trying to get used to some of these settings, uh, rules and flags. We're running on regular corner cutting again. Trying to get used to no line. There's times that I could cut corners and I end up cutting corners and it gives me issues. Now, one of the big ones that I've turned on is the get all the way down to it here if i could the driver's helmet mix uh the driver's helmet mix will actually make it sound like you have a helmet on as the name kind of says so the sound will be a little bit different when i am actually racing uh, i will try and adjust it as need be before the first race to try and get it to a normal level if it needs to be higher lower than please do let me know um, other than that, we're not going to have any HUD on. We're not going to have any assists. Um, it's it's realism mode. The only thing that I don't have is the Toby eye tracker, which I was trying to set up with face track, no IR, but my camera doesn't work very well. And there's times that I'll look a little bit to the left and the camera shoots and it doesn't center pretty well. So uh, we're going to keep that away. I do not have a button mapped on my wheel to actually look back the only way i can look back is on uh, the steering wheel i have the buttons mapped to look left and right which is going to allow me to look in the mirrors as you would in an actual car uh, same thing with the map the mfd and whatnot will show up if need be uh, just to be able to actually change things as you probably would be able to do in an actual f1 car on the steering wheel uh, but there's not going to be there's not going to be anything it's just going to be us in the cockpit driving around I'm not going to make everybody sit and wait through doing everything that we have to. Uh, we'll probably jump right into qualifying for our first race. Actually, we'll go over in the standings. You can look at the races that we're going to do. I've only got 10 selected. We're going to do Imolec, Canada, Australia, Great Britain, Hungary, Belgium, the Italian Grand Prix, the actual Italian Grand Prix, Japan, Mexico, and Australia. Those are going to be our 10 races. I'm not sure if we're going to get through all of them heading into F1 2022. If this video does well, maybe we'll consider trying to do an actual realism career in F1 2022. But I've actually decided that I'm going to try and continue on from his previous season with Aiden Jackson. He's going to be trying to do well this season with Aston Martin and potentially find his way into a higher seat for F1 2022. So if we do well, maybe we'll consider jumping in. If not, maybe we consider sticking with Aston Martin for maybe just the first couple of races and maybe we can get some kind of a deal for him in in the Mercedes car or maybe in a or in a McLaren. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to take you guys to qualifying. Qualifying is going to be 18 minutes long. The races are going to be uh, half distances or 50% distances. I will not be doing commentary for the races. We'll do a little bit of commentary for qualifying and what if we need to go over setup stuff, this, that, and the other. But for the actual race, we're going to be quiet. Microphone's going to be going off. It's just going to be like it would be in an F1 car. Uh, without further ado, let us jump into our first week, I guess. And we'll uh, see if we have to do any other things. <laughs> Hopefully we get some some, some regulars and whatnot. Uh, we're going to go from the car reveal straight into qualifying. I'm going to go and do the practice programs off screen so you guys don't have to deal with me struggling and learning a new track because it's I think it's the first time I've actually driven Imola without assists. Or, sorry, without the line. So, that'll be interesting. I will see you guys in a minute in the paddock, ready for qualifying ahead of the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix.
Alrighty, so here we are. Here in qualifying. Looks like we're gonna have a wet race, which is not, uh... Not the greatest, but it's... I'm not sure how long that rain is gonna last or when it's gonna come. I think we might be able to get away with kind of running a little bit of a hybrid setup. I... I don't want to compromise too much. There is gonna be rain in the race. Probably halfway through. Maybe we can get away with just running the interest to the end. Set up in case you are interested. I think I'm going to run... I'm going to stick with the, the base setup that we got. I think I'm going to bump the ride height up. Just one. Just for the clearance for when the water comes. We'll bump the tire pressures down for the race. Uh, yeah. I think that's going to be it. We'll go do a run. I'll keep it quiet for the runs that I do. We can maybe talk about them in between. It will be skipping through um, some of qualifying, I guess, just to kind of speed things up. So we're not going to be here for your, you know, standard 18 minutes. Uh, but at least give you a first, first taste of what it sounds like in the car with that helmet mix on. It is a little bit different. It sounds good. I think it sounds cool. But, uh, yeah, other than that, I will see you guys in the garage at the end of this first session. Receive you at the end of this lap.
All right, first lap didn't feel too great, didn't feel too bad either though. Uh, you probably noticed that I still have the proximity uh, sensors on. I probably will look to try and turn those off after a race or so once I kind of get used to looking through the mirrors. It is, it is weird. The uh, I wish the mirrors you could change the angle outward as well so that I wasn't just staring at, you know, the wing when I look left or look right. Because it is very, very difficult to try and actually see what uh, what cars are doing behind you. So I think I'll leave the proximity arrows on for the first race or two and, and turn them off and go full immersion here. As it stands, as we lose a place down into eighth, where is our teammate? Lance Stroll hasn't even gone out on a... he's on his lap right now. We'll probably skip ahead until there's five or so minutes left. I'm only going to go out twice. This is usually what I do for my league races. I go out on two sets of soft tires, and I always try and save myself a set of softs for the actual race. In case there's a safety car, then I have a fresh set. Just kind of what I've kind of always done. If I need to, I'll fuel up with extra fuel and go uh, go on two laps if I, if I really know I need to get one if I invalidate. Uh, with the track limits kind of on normal you, you you gotta really aggressively go out with the curbs to kind of to kind of have yourself get the penalty here in in the career mode but we race in our league races we race with strict everything so any amount of touch you're gonna end up getting getting a penalty and have to come in and potentially burn another set of tires i think we should be okay run two sets and hopefully give ourselves a little bit better of a position. It'd be nice to start in the top 10. I don't, the car is, the car is kind of, it's at the bottom of the mid pack. So it's interesting. It'll be really interesting. I think it's gotten a little bit hotter up too. But once again, go for our, go for our last qualifying lap here. See how the car does. And I will talk to you guys again. We are on the grid getting ready to start. Race. Checks complete. All personnel be aware. We have a car leaving.
there's only one lap of fuel remaining. Pitting this lap then, come into the pits at the end of this lap. Just 30 seconds left in the session. We're all ready for tomorrow's race, but before we begin, let's have a quick look at those who will be fronting the grid. Hamilton, Verstappen, and Sergio Perez. No more testing, no more practice. This is the real deal. And it's make or break here at round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. Three point one miles of track here at Imola featuring nineteen turns, nine to the right and ten to the left. Remember that Imola differs from most other Formula One circuits as it's driven anti-clockwise. Let's hope no one forgets that today. The exit from turn eighteen will probably be the setup for many of today's overtakes, leading as it does into the longest straight of the circuit and its only DRS zone. So here we are in 2021 at the start of another Formula One World Championship. It all begins here. Mercedes looking to retain their hold on the title. Red Bull seeking to secure their position as the main contender for that title. Ferrari no doubt hoping for a fresh start following their difficulties last year. And elsewhere on the grid, the prospect of some really exciting battles, including between the newly rebranded Aston Martin and Alpine teams. Lots to discuss then with Anthony Davidson, who's joined me in the commentary box for today's event. It's good to be back, Crofty. Let's hope for some good racing today. We can't know at this point how competitive these teams are relative to each other, but hopefully nobody is able to run and hide. We want to see these drivers pushing to the limit all the way to the chequered flag. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position, and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Norris, Carlos Sainz, and Bottas, Jackson, Ricardo, Gasly, and Yuki Tsunoda, Fernando Alonso, Ocon, Lance Stroll, and Russell, Leclerc, Latifi, Antonio Giovinazzi, and Nikita Mazepin, Raikkonen, and Mick Schumacher. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. E7, not too bad of a start for our first outing here in the Aston Martin. I I do not know what I want to do for strategy. I'm, I don't think the rain is going to be that much of an issue now that I look at it. And I do think that running a one-stop might be a little bit more beneficial. However, 
because we don't have any any upgrades on the car, the tires are going to go off pretty quickly. So I'm I'm a little concerned that if we do the two stop, we lose enough time. I'm almost pushing more for this one stop of using the the soft to the hard tire. I think that might be the best way to go to try and just keep it as a one stop. As for car setup, nothing's going to change. The only thing that we are going to adjust is the tire pressures and knock those down at least one, uh, maybe two. Now nah, one. We're going to knock them down one. Try and hopefully save the car a little bit. Um, other than that, let us go racing. We are going to do the formation lap to try and warm the tires up. Uh, and other than that, that's that's all there is to it. We're going to be racing. I'll be quiet up until the very end of the race. If I end up crashing, I might restart it. And hey, you might get to see a full race today. Thank you so far or so much for sticking around so far. Hopefully you enjoy the race. We are going to be doing 50% as I mentioned. Again, we're doing a realism mode. The damage to the car should be, I think, standard. I haven't, I didn't set it up to simulation because I feel like with with trying this out and being new, we're gonna we're gonna wreck the car a bunch. So we're sitting on standard for everything else. Sounds are all different. There's gonna be nothing on the screen except for the driving and the and the steering wheel and using what we can there. Let's get to it. resulting in loose debris. Fortunately
Fortunately, the marshals have managed to clear it up in time, and there are no plans for a safety car right now. Gasly behind. The gap is less than a second. Careful with the front wing, you've taken some minor damage. No issues with tire wear for now. Keep taking care of them. coming at the end of this lap. is in for his stop. Go, go, go. Okay, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross over into the track. box is currently full. Stay out on track. Stay out on track. Eighteenth place. You're in eighteenth place. Ocon is ahead of you. Our gap to the car in front is 15.3 seconds. They're on old softs. Latifi is behind you. Our gap behind is 6.3 seconds. They're on fresh mediums. Your pit window opens in 16 laps time. 29 laps to go.
gap behind is 8.2 seconds. Just over 10 minutes time, rain in 10 minutes. We're leading our teammate by 17.0 seconds. seconds. see some rain. ETA is about 15 minutes. Dry seem like the fastest tire at the moment. OK, 
Okay, gap ahead is 7.7 .7 seconds. Mazepin's just ahead. Push for the position. Our gap to the car in front is 7.8 seconds. They're on old mediums. Their tires are eight laps old. We think they've got one more stop. The time last lap was a 1 minute 22.2. You're closing in by three seconds a lap. Tsunoda behind. The gap behind us is 7.5 seconds. They're on old softs. Their tires are two laps old. We think they've got one more stop. The time last lap was a 1.19.3. to the car ahead is 2.3 seconds. The car behind is dropping back by about three tenths a lap. up into P12, P12 now. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. is 4.1 seconds.
Alonso is behind you. The gap to the car behind is 2.7 seconds. They're on fresh hards. The time last lap was a 1 minute 41.6. starting to create a gap, they're starting to pull away from us. seconds. on Norris, they seem to have an issue.
Let's see if we can catch the car ahead. The gap is five seconds. seconds. Sing this lap. Dry 
always seem like the best tire for now. this early. on this compound. Russell is behind you. Our gap behind is 24.3 seconds. They're on old hearts. Their tires are six laps old. The time last lap was a 1 minute 23.4. are faster, we're right on the crossover. The gap to the car ahead is 3.2 seconds. some heat into those tires.
Russell is behind you. The gap behind us is 3.3 seconds. They're on fresh inters. The time last lap was a 1 minute 49.0. teammate by 26.6 seconds. is five or ten more minutes of rain before it dries up. Inters look like the best tyre for now. Gap to car in front is 2.3 seconds.
anticipate an end to this rain in around five minutes. Inters seem like the fastest tire for now. of fuel remaining. Russell behind. The gap to the car behind is 11.4 seconds. They're on fresh inters. Their tires are five laps old. The time last lap was a 127.4. a few remaining. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Six point seven seconds.
place over. Take care of the car on the way in. It's a performance that our Emilia Romagna Grand Prix winners can be justifiably proud of. And I'm sure there'll be celebrations tonight. Anthony Davidson, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament. They were able to keep their heads when everyone around them was losing theirs. And that's allowed them to get the best out of the car, to maximise the strategy and to stay out of trouble. Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently. It's clear to see that they've put in the work and they should be proud of the victory they secured here. Max Verstappen now leads the Drivers' Championship. Let's focus on the driver of the day. Anthony Davidson, who do you pick? Charles Leclerc showed exactly how to manage yourself out on the track today. He was almost flawless out there. Incredible stuff. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Red Bull take over as championship leaders. It's been an absolutely wild weekend of Formula One action. I can't wait to see what's next. So that's our race. Uh, not the greatest for us. A couple of mistakes from myself. Uh, the, the the extra pit stop after we got damaged definitely didn't help our cause there. You can see we're 20 some odd seconds. It's a long pit lane here in Imola. If we get those 20 seconds back, we're probably fighting back where we ended up starting. Still not too bad. Bit of a recovery drive from there. Um, that is going to do it for us today. We're going to head back to the garage. Get everything sorted for the next race. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys stick around for as many of these as I can do. We're actually at the Canadian Grand Prix next. So Aiden Jackson with his first points. Good for him. I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you all so much for your patience and for viewing. Cheers.